Hello everybody, welcome back. So today we're making the coolest recipe ever. We are making a chocolate PS4 controller. So this is kind of in between a chocolate bar and a cake pop. It's coated in chocolate and it's actually filled with chocolate cake pop mixture. It tastes so good, oh my God. And um, I was actually editing last night at like 2 a.m. and it took all my strength not to just like eat them all. But yeah, so if you're looking for an edible gift for somebody who loves gaming, I think that this is so cool. And the mold is available on Amazon and Amazon Prime even, so you can get it super, super quickly. And I'll have that link in in the description box below. Anyways, let's get started. That was the wrong intro, so let's get started. Oh, this is my channel while I'm messing it up. So first we're going to make the cake mixture. So in a large bowl, mix together some flour, sugar, baking soda, and salt. In a separate bowl, dissolve some instant coffee in some hot water, and then add some cocoa powder and vanilla and whisk together. Then pour this into the dry mixture. Then add some vegetable oil, chocolate chips, and vinegar, and mix until everything is well combined. Divide between a large muffin tin and bake at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 minutes. So you wanna weigh out about 375 grams of cupcakes, which is about six cupcakes, and crumble them into a fine crumb. In a separate bowl, combine some melted white chocolate and some hot whipping cream, and then pour this onto the cake crumbs and mix well until everything is combined. And so the mixture should be able to hold its shape when you kind of mold it with your fingers. Then spread some melted black candy melts onto the walls of a PS4 controller chocolate mold. Allow the candy melts to harden at room temperature and then fill the mold with some of the cake mixture, making sure to create a flat surface. Pour some extra black candy melts on top and seal the cake inside with the candy melts. Smooth the surface and then pop this mold into the fridge until the candy melts have fully hardened. Gently unmold the controller from the mold and use some toothpicks to draw some details onto the controller with some green, purple, red, and blue candy melts. Then allow the details to harden and you are done! And so because of how thin the controller is, it will soften at room temperature, so you want to store these in the fridge until you are about to serve them. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you like this recipe. If you think that this is cool, I actually used the same technique and made KFC drumsticks and those taste it so good. Um, so if you'd like to see that recipe and if you're wondering what the heck I'm talking about, definitely click here and this will take you there. And I'll see you guys on Tuesday or if you guys are going to VidCon, I will also see you guys at VidCon. So um, I'll be there from the 21st to the 25th, just like hanging around and walking around. So if you see me, make sure to say hi. So I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend and I'll see you later. Bye.